The running was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Like. Yan Yan. Sega. Kemma. Wilson. Ivan. Mary. And we are. Team Up! <laughs> that was good, that was good. Working as a team for the Everest simulation has provided us with a number of different opportunities for teamwork growth. Firstly was interpersonal communication. During the first simulation, our method of communication was purely using an online chat forum. This created difficulty in understanding each other's instructions and often resulted in failed attempts to complete goals within the simulation, as well as an overload in data due to the fact that everyone was talking at once. During the second simulation, we were all gathered in the same place. Instructions were more clearly defined, everyone spoke at one time and there was a level of cohesion present. Body language was a clear factor in positive communication, eliminating any negative misinterpretation. Secondly was personality. Personality is a key factor in determining how successful a team works together. The fact that we had a diverse number of personality types within the group meant that we had different levels of thinking and analysing, allowing us to maximise how many goals were completed. Thirdly was the use of leadership. During the first simulation, the role of the leader wasn't clearly defined, with no sense of authority. However, during the second attempt, the live human contact meant there was a good opportunity to not only lead with confidence, but took a demographic approach by showing the decision making around. This was an imperative factor to our success rate, as it eliminated dictatorship and allowed a healthy team environment to exist. Look beyond